This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Uh, we are now at, um, well, we, we should, maybe you should call it the, e, the EV Hub. Yes, uh, EV Hub. Yes, EV Hub. And um, uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the, the running cost or the repair cost of EVs versus fossil cars. And then uh, the reason why we are sitting here and not in a workshop is because it's a bit noisy at the workshop. And then we are mostly just going to sit and talk anyway. So um, uh, I, I guess I don't need to introduce Nasir uh, from uh, Bilex Barton, uh, EV Hub. But maybe we have also a, a new uh, guest here. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, maybe you can. Yes, I uh, invited uh, this uh, guy, very good on uh, electric vehicle and hybrid uh, from uh, uh, Zagreb, uh, Croatia, EV clinic. Vanya Katic is his name and uh, we share a lot of experience. He learned us a lot and uh, that's been very good uh, uh, good period for us because uh, the EV community is, is actually very small so we need to attract uh, what we know, what we don't know to share to build up uh, repair uh, solutions and uh, that's what we have done on uh, EV Hub. So, uh, we have done um, this uh, cooperation uh, together in uh, Scandinavia now, me and uh, EV Hub and EV Clinic with, uh, with Vanya. And uh, yeah, today's uh, topic is very interesting for uh, us and everybody else, I think. Yes, because I can tell you, that I was supposed to film some other stuff, some batteries downstairs, and then we had some interesting uh, conversation about things. So that's why I want to highlight the topic in a separate video, so it's not hidden in another video. And it's about uh, the repair cost for electric cars, because uh, traditionally, actually for the longest time, ever since Tesla Model S came out in 2013, 12, then people always said, oh, just wait until the battery breaks down. It's going to be really expensive. It costs more than the whole car and everything. Uh, but uh, so is it really going to be like that? So um, let's see now. I have to ask you guys, um, uh, Nasir, how long have you been working in the car industry as repair shop? or? Uh, actually, all my life, uh, Bjorn, after I finish uh, school, uh, and then I went uh, to pra practice a learning class in uh, Volkswagen RD, VAG, I worked there. So I have a lot of experience with the fossil cars uh, as well. And I started uh, in 2002, uh, three in the mechanical uh, uh, school in, uh, in Norway. Uh, after I took a little bit more further uh, technician uh, courses. Uh, after 2008-9, I get my diploma, Fagbrev, uh, you call it. And I went to the Norwegian Armed Forces in the north and uh, fixed uh, uh, as well as trucks and CV-19 uh, military equipment as well. Uh, 16 liter engines from Scania, <laughs> a little bit experience from there. <clears throat> and uh, till now, i uh, only been working with the cars and, and, and repairs. So uh, both uh, combustion engines and hybrids and electric cars <clears throat> as well. Hmm. Uh, and uh, Vanya, tell a little bit about his background. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm Vanya from Zagreb and last 14 years I'm mostly in component level repair and research of electronic defects on all cars. In the beginning it was mostly on only on IC cars and last four years after I switched to electric cars I started uh, accelerated uh, research of almost every issues, repairs, parts and everything on electric and hybrid cars and last four years I'm mostly just researching and training other people how to repair it and how cheap it is and how much cheaper it is to, to service the electric cars other than IC cars or even hybrid cars which are, which are mostly more expensive than IC or, or electric cars uh, alone. Yeah, but uh, so you claim that fossil cars are more expensive to repair, but the claim from most people is, oh, the battery is so expensive. They heard that the Tesla battery is really expensive. Well, how much does it really cost, a Tesla battery? Tesla battery, for example, new refurbished, ref, refurbished one is, for example, 9,000 euro plus tax. But if you compare the price of powertrain, for example, or of any fossil fuel car after 2012, uh, for example, only engine costs lowest price for I don't some German company doesn't matter. Uh, it costs sixteen thousand euro only engine. 
pure engine without any parts is 16,000 euro plus plus labor. But if you compare it with Tesla battery, then Tesla battery is double time cheaper than any powertrain or diesel or petrol engine on ICE cars. And that's not only part moving parts on the on the IC cars. There is, for example, gearbox. Any automatic gearbox costs at least twelve thousand euro. When you get plus plus plus, it's uh, for example, if your uh, gearbox or engine fails or, or on any IC car after two thousand twelve, if you want to change it in in OEM workshop, you will need to pay at least thirty thousand euro to repair the powertrain to move the car. And for the same price, you could buy three batteries on Tesla. Oh, you can buy a new fossil car for that price. Yeah, <laughs> even that. How? That's madness. Yeah. yeah, that's madness. But people doesn't know. Uh, last 10 years, media are scaring people of electric cars without reason. Uh, after I started the research of my own, of every component, every failure of uh, every battery pack, I noticed I can repair any battery for one euro. For example, in, not in all cases, but the lowest price you can repair battery is one euro for some part but you cannot repair broken engine on the diesel engine on any german car for one euro you at least need uh, three to four thousand euro of parts okay but the one euro is just for the part right but you still have to do labor yeah this then. is labor but uh, even even labor is cheaper for ba repair the batteries than any ic engine repair oh, well, why is that uh, because there is more moving parts, there is more uh, possibility to, 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 for any part to fail. You have EGR, EGR, you have DPF, you have injectors, you have high, uh, high pressure pump, you have a lot of parts which can fail or, or maybe already failed. Well, I kind of know some of it because I also, okay, my background, by the way, is I also used to own fossil cars already from 2001, roughly. But I just used them, I never repair, repair them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, every car I own, the fossil cars, they had problems and repairs and stuff broke mm. every year. <laughs> but then, uh, Nasi, yes. you also have a, a case because uh, you, you run the workshop, uh, uh, Bilex, and Bosch, mm. uh, that's probably what people know in the channel. <laughs> yeah. And you have a case about the really expensive repair you mentioned. Yes, um, <laughs> uh, the, the thing is, uh, Bjorn, is that uh, I want people to know that uh, it's not, don't be afraid of owning an uh, electric car, whatever brand it is, because it will be repair solution. You don't need to change uh, everything that is so much expensive, can overhaul, and the prices in the future, I, I think, will go more and more down because the knowledge will up and everything uh, will be better. Um, we have a, a car inside now because the engine uh, brake, uh, because of the, the chain uh, belt. Because timing belt. Timing yeah. belt, yes. It's fossil car. Fossil yeah. car. All the uh, Mercedes vehicle had uh, double uh, chain, but now they change to simple chains on some diesel engines. And this is also very expensive when uh, this happens and all the engine uh, breaks, so you must change all the engine. So it's like uh, in, in, in Euro, maybe 250,000 euros. Uh, 25,000. 25,000, yeah. Yeah, 25. Uh, 25,000 euros. Plus. Only for pure range without any part. What, what? Yeah. Well, how old is this car? Uh, 2016 model. Six years? Yes, and uh, okay, it, it has 200,000 um, kilometers on the clock. That's not too much for a That's car. That's not too much, and still I haven't done anything with the gearbox and, uh, and other, uh, other things. So the point is that it, it can be more expensive uh, with the IC car than the electric car out of warranty, so must actually know the both sides so um, yeah so uh, you can be very unlucky with the IC cars if uh, everything breaks or the engine breaks so it can be also very expensive yeah. so well, like one at all it's, it's uh, uh, more or less moving parts on uh, electric vehicles so uh, if the car is built well so it's less chance something will uh, fail with well. electric vehicle but you mentioned the Mercedes, that's for the price for a whole new engine, right? Uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's all new, but I think it's refurbished. Uh, oh. So you give your old engine in uh, back, in Norway we call it pant. Uh -huh. And then yeah. uh, they fix it's like pant. the yeah. pant system. Yeah. German says <laughs> Tausch. Tausch, yeah, yeah. And they give you a new, uh, new engine. Also, oh, it's just refurbished? I think it's refurbished, yes. Ah, oh, but, okay. 
But then also, Vanya, you mentioned, by the way, uh, we, I had the, Vanya watches my videos, of course. Uh, <laughs> yes. And, and I had a video recently that lots of people watch, is that um, the Kia Soul with lots of degradation. And uh, uh, yeah, I measured, it was like 45% degradation, it was really crazy. But then you had some in, in, like, uh, interesting insight because you've been repairing lots of batteries. Yes. Not only Teslas, right? Yeah, so, 50, 60 different battery packs, yes. Yeah, and you mentioned something about the Soul. Uh, okay, you haven't touched it, but you have, touched, uh, you have seen several similar cases. Yeah, I have, I have seen two cases. Uh, when you have a reading that you have big degradation on battery, especially for Kia Soul, which uh, uh, cools down the battery with air from the, from the below the driver's seat, and upper cells degrade too much too fast because they are in the highest position where uh, hottest air sticks and so it stays in place and by the time I don't know maybe 150,000 kilometers it happens that upper two cells are too much overheated two, two modules huh? yeah yeah, yeah two, okay. no two cells two cells. Two, cells. two cells just two cells for example you have eight cells in the first block the upper one cell on one side and second on another side is so much degraded that you have reading just because of them you have 50% degradation. And for example, uh, I need I need with my Stromtrooper mechanic, we need maybe between two or three hours to take it down, change to change two cells and put it back on the car. And then uh, what then um, the so the state of health on those cells are pretty bad, like 50%. Kia Soul reads state of the health of the battery with the, with the reading of the lowest cell. Ah! Yes. But then you mentioned that the, the other cells, the low, that... They are good. They are still good. How many percent state of health do they have roughly? Between, between 80 and 90%. Uh -huh. That means maximum, if we go really to measure the battery, we could say the Kia Soul has maximum 20% degradation. Something okay. similar to the e-golf. Uh huh. Yes. So, so actually, so, and then uh, what people want to know is, if you repair that uh, that battery, how much will it cost? Then you mentioned just a few hours of labor. It's a little bit problem to find the cells because those dimensions dimensions of the cells are impossible to find. But uh, I found in China new one with the same capacity, and let's say one cell costs about 50 euro. You need two cells, that means 100 euro plus labor. 100 euro? Yes. That's it? And then you repair the battery? If you want, I can give you IC engine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pay more. <laughs> you see, this is why I made this video, because I was shocked to hear the difference. And I was shocked to hear when Nasir told me how expensive uh, fossil cars are, and we haven't even touched in the, the topic of hy hybrid cars because that needs to be separate in a separate video otherwise it would be too long. Mm -hmm. so, so I think you know um, uh, the, the bottom uh, line here is that uh, fossil cars are really expensive to repair but it's just that people don't talk about it. Yes, I uh, think that uh, the mo people don't need to be afraid of the electric vehicle especially Tesla because I think the technology and how they build the cars is actually very good very easy to repair. So it's only that the people need the knowledge uh, how the car works and how, how it needs to be repaired the first time right. So I think that uh, people who own electric car or want to buy a uh, used uh, Tesla shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be afraid because how they build the car is actually very good. And, and uh, ahead of uh, many uh, car companies in many years, I think. so. So it's good, but now, uh, as well as BMW i4, as you tested, it's actually a very good car as well. So, um, so it is, uh, it is uh, that uh, you need uh, to build up the experience and the third shop now uh, coming up with a good uh, repair solution uh, as well. And I think this is also helping Tesla uh, as, as a branch that uh, people think, okay, I can buy a used Tesla, no problem, use it 10 more. 10 more years without, uh, without problem, if it's maintained the correct uh, way. And then you, uh, you're basing your claims now on many years of repairing Teslas and fossil cars, right? At yes. Bosch Car Service. Yes, uh, we have a good experience with both. And uh, uh, glad to you mentioned that Bosch Car Service, because Bosch Car Service is 7,000 workshops all over the Europe. And we have a lot of expertise in different uh, aspects. Some people know something, some people know something. 
So what we do is that we build up this community together in EVA. So if I know something and another workshop in another country knows something, so we share the information. So because that's the strength now, because I think the world is like very big, also very small now because of the digital social media and um, information is very uh, close. Uh, that's how we get to know uh, one mm. and we like this uh, corpora corporation. So I think that uh, <clears throat> uh, electric cars uh, is, is here to be uh, uh, in the future as well, a uh, very cheap uh, repair, uh, even if the warranty is, uh, is out. So I think uh, and my main goal is don't be afraid, uh, just do a good uh, test on the car before you buy an electric car and it, it, if it's maintained well, driven well, I don't think you can get, will get so much unexpected uh, expenses. Of course, somebody is uh, unlucky, it happened. Uh, it can happen with, uh, with every car, but uh, I think in the normal and generally, it's not like uh, what we hear every time in media or, or social platforms. <laughs> <many times. laughs> but also, Vanya, uh, you, you mentioned that uh, you have a Tesla also, right? Yes. So um, uh, you you also uh, you bought the Tesla many years ago after watching my video. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> unseen. Right? Yes, I buy it unseen, and I didn't. I only see see it on uh, on picture on on uh, Google, and I wanted Tesla just to research it because I couldn't research someone else's car. If I if I break something, I must pay for the car or for the repair. It's easiest way to to, to own the car and research it. Yes. And wh when was this? Then? 2018. 2018? Yes. Oh, so you bought a second hand or? Second hand, yes. Okay. And then have you been uh, kind of popping stuff open, like uh, rich people style, uh, just open stuff and learn about it? Or? Yes, I was starting this assembly in that time. Uh, hot topic was e e MCU defect with EMMC. And then I started investing in, in tools, I began revolving tools, uh, equipment, machines and everything. I don't know, in, in, in the beginning I invested some 10 to 15 thousand euro, but I noticed big problem. Uh, I do not have anyone to ask about those hot topics on component level. You, you don't have anyone to ask how to repair some chip, how to read software, how to re repair the software or anything else. Then that's how we met uh, and I decided in the last year the only way to accelerate adopting of second-hand electric cars is to give support for them. If there is no support, nobody will trust them. And we need to show the people that electric car, even after 10 years old, is still drivable and it's still fixable for, for, for uh, half the price of any ICE car. And when you say support, do you mean repair? Like, Sorry? Do you, when you mean support? Uh, supo and yeah, support, as support repair? To, yes, as a repair for other workshops. Okay. Yes, for example, in Croatia, I train five workshops, different workshops. They do not know each other. And I, uh, I teach them how to repair Tesla, how to repair BMW i3 on any case, because I have a lot of calls from all other countries. I cannot manage all the calls and all the issues. If I fail to help someone, I'm, it's, I feel bad and I decided I must, okay, I must share my knowledge to everyone. That's how I came here with yeah. my yeah. new friend Nas. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the idea behind the EV Hub is like uh, one, year, one year mentioned that uh, knowledge is like new and after some years it got old. So we want also to share. That's how we, uh, EV Hub's uh, idea combined because like one of these is many workshops in Norway that our goal is to support them yeah. with parts, with the uh, knowledge, with everything. With support, we, help. Yeah. yeah, so we are building in here a, a web portal where we can support uh, workshops. I went, for example, I went to Istanbul with Tesla uh, for five days. Uh, there is one big A garage uh, company for electric, for support for electric cars. And we exchange knowledge, we exchange uh, topics and everything. We are now good friends and we are supporting each other remotely, whatever he needs. And a lot of, lot of calls uh, uh, from other workshops to support electric cars. Well, also, so I heard that uh, when you repaired some, you, you repaired some um, uh, Tesla Model S batteries, yes. right? And uh, 
at least the ones in Norway, they have a common problem with um, just uh, the PCC, PC, no, but PC, PCB. PCB board. Yes. Uh, so uh, the skeptics, the anti-EV people, they will say that uh, electric cars, batteries, they will degrade. And then after a few years, you, the, the battery is bad and you have to throw it away because I think that's how it works with car, I mean, with, with laptops and, and yeah. phones. But then it turns out that the cells are good, right? But then it's the, what, what was it the fail? What fails on those, on those battery packs on Tesla or, or other cars? Let's say I didn't find any Tesla with so much degraded battery to throw it away. Never. <laughs> that's, that's first thing. And mostly the, the moisture and water inside battery makes issue. And you mentioned PCB. This PCB is a BNB, battery management board. It's balancing the cells and sending the data to the BMS and one upper small component gets wet and it uh, 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 damages a line for measuring one cell voltage and it fails because system must see all 96 cell voltages. If one is missing, a uh, system for, for safety reasons must go off. And for example, sometimes we need just to change this, this board or check the cells, measure the cells, clean the, 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 the battery pack and uh, other stuff, yes. So that was the one euro part you mentioned earlier. Yeah, for example, that yeah. one part with one euro, but it's, uh, for example, it will be good for Tesla to sell these BNB boards. They do not sell separately. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. And also when you go to Tesla, when, uh, if you have a car uh, nowadays, when you get the Teslas out of warranty and the battery, uh, when you go to Tesla, uh, they give you a ridiculous high repair price. Uh, why is it so high versus what you guys can do? I, I think it's, uh, it's not only about um, Tesla. Uh, all we have the, have the routine and the process. Oh, if you go to uh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen they and, 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 they, and it's actually uh, the same. I think actually Tesla is cheaper than uh, many other uh, manufacturers because uh, Vanya and, uh, mentioned also that some other uh, big brands have more expensive batteries than, uh, than actually Tesla. So Tesla have actually the cheapest, uh, I think, uh, and this must be confirmed and check, uh, batteries out there uh, than others. Yeah, yeah well, well, yeah. <laughs> I think we can talk about this, right? Uh, you know the price of the, the brand new 100D or the, the 100 kilowatt hour Tesla battery is 15,800 15, euros with, with tax. New battery in Tesla. Brand 100 new battery. Yes. So if you buy it from Tesla, can you buy it from Tesla? Uh, you must give yours old and you receive the new one. Okay, so it's technically like an upgrade, like, like Ponto, yeah, you, you return. Okay. Yeah, if you want new, it costs that and you give your old. So if you think that, let's say you must change a hybrid a kilowatt, uh, I don't know how big a hybrid kilowatt uh, one pack uh, depends, but depends on which yeah. car, of course. But if you take the price of the kilowatt for the hybrid packet and a Tesla, then this Tesla is very cheap. Mm -hmm. One Better. kilowatt, one kilowatt Toyota, but hybrid battery costs four thousand euro. Yeah, one kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hours. It's like a big power bank only. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, it's small one. Small one, and for example, uh, Mercedes-Benz hybrid battery costs uh, all from 2009 to 2016, something between. There is one one version with with 16 16,000 euro price price tag, and it has only 0 0.8 kilowatt hours. <laughs> yes, <laughs> second generation has same capacity, but something lower price around something about between seven and eight thousand euro. Okay. But we're touching now into the hybrid discussion because that's also a very important and interesting discussion. I want to separate in another video. Mm. Uh, but also, uh, Vanya, do you, you also know the price on the EQS battery. Something around 60,000 euro. <laughs> well, do you know for sure or is it just an assumption? Uh, because, uh, it, not assumption, because I heard from, from EPC catalog from uh, OEM dealer, uh, they do not have complete price for all the parts for EQS because it's brand new car. But one guy from the Mercedes-Benz told me it's, it's 60,000 euro for the new battery. 60,000 versus, okay, if we, so the, the Tesla battery is roughly half, one third of the EQS battery and they are roughly the same size. Yes. And they have roughly the same performance. So yes. that is madness. Maybe they will reduce the price, but uh, it's, too, it's really too high. Okay. 
Well, okay, so in, in that regard, okay, you can say that uh, this is this, the, the skeptics, the anti-EV people, when they say, well, look at that, the EQS battery is really expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least, <laughs> at least the Tesla and maybe the Leaf batteries are not that expensive. Yes. Uh, yeah, Leaf, not, yeah, but it's Leaf something is around 9,000 euro plus tax. I don't know, maybe uh, Kia, uh, Kia Soul is about 14,000 euro. Smart electric is something around 13,000 euro. But the, the, the thing is that we are talking about uh, the price for the whole battery pack, but in 99.9% .9 cases, you don't need to buy Never. it. You can just fix it, right? I, don't, I do not know anyone who buy a new battery. Anyone. Okay. Uh, because everything is repairable. Every, every, every issue. Uh, there are a few cases that, that I couldn't succeed to repair it, but that was human error, not battery issue. Oh, oh, I only want to add the one thing because like when I see in Norway, he sees other thing he never sees there. Yeah. <laughs> and here in Nor Norway, we have a lot of problem. It's, it's not that it's bad batteries and that because of the water or, 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 or rust. Salt. Salt, yeah. Coming, salt. Uh, some, I don't know how it's coming, but coming and that can be very catastrophic. Nice. Yeah. Else it is like... A, can fix, but yeah. if it's water, like uh, then uh, water and battery is not good communication mm. uh, together. But this is like especially in in in, uh, in north, I think, in Norway, that we have these issues with the isolation because of the weather. It's not that the car or the battery is is, is is bad, but it's very harsh. The weather it it happens with the brake systems and everything with air suspension with the cars, uh, branded cars, other German companies as well, because. The climate uh, destroy uh, the parts and mm -hmm. maybe in the where it's like uh, hotter uh, will not uh, these uh, issues happen. Hmm. Mm, I don't nice. know, so yeah, I think so. Well, okay. Uh, well, I, the video is getting a little bit too long. Uh, we could <laughs> speak for a, long, for a long time, but I think we have to wrap up. Yeah. Um, but okay, at least what uh, what we claim now. Uh, is that uh, the, the EVs are cheaper to repair than, uh, than fossil cars. But maybe you can ask the audience, do you guys own or have you owned uh, a fossil car which something broke and you had to repair it for a lot? I would like to hear what kind of car was it? Was it a Mercedes? Was it an Audi or a Kia? And then how much did you have to pay and what part was it? Because then we will find out if we are just bullshitting or not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I so, just want to add one thing because yeah. uh, uh, like all the cars from the 18, 19s and maybe some mid 2000s True. from the brand car, I, they are very good. I have many of them. I like old cars and I like combustion engines, uh, some history cars, like old cars, uh, like a Mercedes M120 engine. This is a six liter engine V12 they made. Very good engine, very reliable engine as well. Same as uh, Porsche uh, engine 996 uh, turbo, 3.6 liter, what you drive. It's oh, yeah. a nice green engine. They use it in Le Mans 24 uh, race. It's also a very good and solid engine. But these cars was back then, uh, and, and Mercedes could go 1 million kilometers. Because I remember when I was small, my father had driven taxi all his life. In, uh, and so I know Mercedes and a lot and have have a, what you say, love for the brand from when I was uh, small, so the 124 Corosé, a 250 diesel was very good and very solid. So, so it, uh, what I want to add, uh, and one more point is that it depends on what you compare it with, uh, if I can see it also like that. Hmm. So maybe the quality have uh, gone down or, or something like that or it's not uh, because before old cars and yeah. like my shit i'd say that double chain now they single so yeah massively degraded yes. in, the, in the last 15 years massively some of the engines uh, now uh, tfsi engine use oil and think so in 2008 9 10 they had some issues with this and then you must refurbish uh, the engine i remember that because i work with the brand uh, a lot but uh, five cylinder uh, the engine turbo engine was also very good. Engine, some engines are very good and some have their issues. So, okay, well, uh, interesting stuff. Um, so, I just want to ask then. Uh, so, it sounds to me like in general, uh, back in the old days, uh, the cars they were built like tanks and the engines were built. True. Yeah. But then, uh, why is it that later years it's not like that? Is it something to do with downsizing because of lower emission and fuel consumption? 
Uh, I don't know, Wanda, do you know about that? They are trying to get more efficiency and to lower the, the, the consumption of the engine because I, um, how I see it, uh, they, are, they are trying to compete with the, with the electric cars. They are trying to reduce the weight, they are trying to reduce costs, but they are main, making more and more trouble on gearboxes, on engines, on everything. So, of course, on paper, on the brochure, it says point, uh, or it says uh, 4 liters per 100 yes. kilometers, mm -hmm. but then <laughs> the engine doesn't last that long. Yeah, if, let's say you pay for, for, for 100 kilometers, you pay for 4 liters of diesel, but after some time, you will, you will, you will pay all the difference. Hmm. With, with the new parts, with the engines, with the turbo, with, with, the, with the failures of the engine. <laughs> and it, it will be more expensive to drive fossil fuels than any other older car fossil. But then the old cars, like you mentioned, they, they, have, worse, like, they have worse efficiency and, and emissions. Yeah. Right? True, that, that, that can be true, but, uh, but the general equality, uh, some of the specials, uh, Engines like I mentioned so from you know, from Mercedes, Porsche, other uh, other brands, uh, LD as well was was very solid and made a little bit differently. But uh, I don't think it's only about the, about the emission. Maybe uh, maybe it's like the quality of the uh, materials uh, that was used, uh, something like that. Uh, so maybe because of the price or something like that. that we should uh, ask uh, what is uh, what is uh, how to say it uh, emission. What is the mission of the parts needed to repair the car? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Older car didn't fail. You could drive one million kilometers. It, it, it had higher emissions, but the new car failed, I don't know, maybe every 20,000 or 50,000 kilometers. What is the, what is the f footprint of those parts needed to repair the car? Yeah, Engine, a... gearbox, everything. Everything needs electricity to make it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> But it seems maybe like in total, maybe in total, older cars have less emissions than the newer cars. And of course, when we have those um, wheel-to-well comparison between electric car versus fossil cars, nobody mentions that fossil cars they tend to fail True. after yes. hundred thousand yes. kilometers. But it seems like there's a fundamental flaw, a fundamental limitation yes. with fossil cars, and they're trying to fight it by downsizing or putting in turbos and squeezing out more horse horsepower from one liter engine. Yes. Uh, but then th there's uh, always a trade-off. Yes, true. Whereas and that's what I'm pointing uh, all the years. Something is wrong and they are measuring uh, on the new car, the, the, the emissions and everything. No, nobody measures what happens later. Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, we're interesting, but uh, I think we just have to end here yeah. <laughs> and then take the discussion in the comment section instead. <laughs> but okay, so very interesting. Uh, if you guys, I guess if you guys have anything you want to ask these experts, you feel free to ask. I'm just a noob here. So uh, thank you so much for uh, this uh, round table discussion. Uh, and um, I think that's going to be it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching Bye. and talk to you guys <laughs> later. <Yeah. laughs>